Today's video is part of my melanoma diagnosis story series on my channel where I share celebrity and also viewer stories on how they were diagnosed, diagnosed with skin cancer. And today's video is all about Khloe Kardashian and her history of skin cancer. I like to bring awareness to celebrity stories because celebrities are great typically about sharing their experiences online and reaching millions of people for a cause. And Khloe Kardashian is one of those who has spoke up repeatedly. She has shared her melanoma surgery stories on her reality TV show, The Kardashians. I decided just to get a biopsy, just waiting for the result. And she has advocated for wearing sunscreen and getting skin checks. Oh, hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to hear more stories like this and also get sunscreen reviews. Let's start with who is Khloe Kardashian if you don't know. She is a reality TV star as well as a fashion designer. I have had several of her jeans. Her company makes fantastic jeans in my opinion. <laughs> She also stars in the reality show, The Kardashians, that features her entire family. There's lots of drama. I watched it years ago when it first came on, but I haven't caught any of the episodes. I need to go and watch the ones where she shares her melanoma diagnosis story and watch that because I think that would be interesting to see. So on the show, she revealed that she had a bump on her cheek that she thought was a zit for seven months and she finally went and had it biopsied and it came back as melanoma. I have done one biopsy on this bump that I just assumed was a zit. It turns out it's not a zit, it's melanoma. This is at the age of 39 years old and she's sharing this on her season three of the Kardashians in 2023. She had an operation on her cheek to remove it, and they told her that they weren't sure how much of her cheek they were going to take uh, through a wide local excision surgery. This was way more serious than I either understood or I anticipated it to be. It's sometimes not easy, but I'm just happy it's over. Such a relief. It would be disfiguring on her face. And she was understandably very worried about how big of a scar it was gonna be and facial deformities, a completely understandable reaction. She shares on her social media that they did do the surgery and they took a lot more than she was prepared for. She had stitches on the outside of her cheek as well as on the inside of her cheek. She showed up onto her reality show with a huge bandage over her face and uh, had difficulty speaking because of the stitches on the inside of her mouth. She also had a small second surgery to remove a little bit more before they were able to get all of the melanoma out. Now her mom said that this was very worrisome, not just because it was a melanoma, but because Chloe has a history of melanomas. So Chloe has a little bit of a history with melanoma and cancerous lesions. So this on her face is very concerning to me and I'm actually very worried. Now I don't know how many, the couple of articles that I read uh, didn't really share too much about how many she'd had previously. But her mom did say that at 19 years old, which is very young, they found a melanoma on Chloe's back that was removed. So Chloe is predisposed to melanomas and has a history of melanoma. In a Cosmopolitan article from January of 2024, Chloe is quoted to say, even those who are not predispositioned we should be checking all the time. I am someone who wears sunscreen every single day, religiously, so no one is exempt from these things. Please take this seriously and do your regular self-exams as well as your annual checkups. Now, self-exams for me, I had melanoma back in 2021, and I do regular self-exams. I'm glad that Chloe mentioned this. Self-exams meaning looking at your skin. 
having your partner look at the areas of your skin that you can't see, maybe on your back, uh, at your hairdressers, when they're doing your hair, perfect person ask, hey, do I have any unusual spots on my head? Friends, looking out for each other, uh, taking pictures of spots that look unusual to you and then retaking that picture in a month to see if anything has changed. I have an entire photo album dedicated to spots for myself, my daughter, and my son, uh, just so I can see if anything has changed because a lot of times these changes in our skin spots happen slowly and we may think that they are aging spots or zits as Chloe thought hers was. Now Chloe did end up with a pretty big scar on her face. So once it had completely healed, she had another surgery to put filler in so that she wouldn't have a big divot in her cheek. I have a very strange divot in my arm. It actually works to my advantage because it looks like I have muscles when I don't. Um, but when they take tissue away, it goes concave in that spot. And so she had filler put in to uh, pop that part of her cheek back out. Now I have a friend, her name is Bridget. I have shared her story on here before. Thank you Bridget for giving, for sharing your story with all of my viewers. I will link her video right up here for you to watch after this one. But she has a huge scar on her face. I can't remember which side it is Bridget, please forgive me. On the side of her face from where she had her melanoma. She's very fair skinned. She has red hair. She occasionally dyes it different colors, um, but her scar thankfully has turned white at this point. You don't really notice it unless you spend a lot of time staring at her face uh, because I did not notice it when I first met her. So there are things that doctors can do to, to lessen the impact of a scar on your face. Now in a Today article, Chloe also mentioned that when she got her melanoma diagnosis on her cheek, she went into a spiral of darkness. As you start thinking, what if the cancer did spread? And then you're like, spiral into darkness. And I wish she had said more about that because there are definitely mind tricks and mind challenges to having a cancer diagnosis. It comes with a lot of feelings that you aren't expected for. I've talked about this numerous times in uh, previous videos of things that I went through after getting my diagnosis of racing thoughts and the dullness that you get of the world around you. And I wish she had said more about the toll it takes on your mental health. But I'm very glad that she emphasizes the need for sunscreen as well as regular skin checks with your dermatologist. Here's a list of best practices according to medical experts on how to prevent skin cancer. I am a melanoma cancer survivor, not a medical expert. Regular skin checks at home, avoiding tanning beds, which side note, her sister, Kim Kardashian, has a tanning bed in her office that she showcased last year on TikTok. And that was a disaster. Wearing sun protective clothing and avoiding going out in the sun from 10 to two, which is when UV rays are at their highest. Also be aware of the ABCDs of melanoma. Although these ABCDs don't necessarily apply to all melanomas. Asymmetry. When one half of the mole does not match the other half. Border irregularity. When the edges of the spot are not smooth, but are bumpy. Color of the area. When the mole is not evenly colored, like it may have dark on one side, light on the other, or dark with a light on the inside, those types of things. Diameter of the mole. Get it checked out if it's six millimeters or larger. Evolving size of the mole in question. Now my melanoma does sort of fit this one. Uh, the size was not evolving, but the color was evolving. Mine went from light to gradually darker and darker over a period of six months. So if your color or shape or size is changing, that's when to get it checked out. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in my next video.